Okay, so we're going to go through um, section one of chapter 11 today. And so what we're going to be looking at is the mole. And I know that you guys went over this with Mrs. Merkel. So what is a mole? A mole is commonly abbreviated M-O-L. Now, I know it's kind of silly because they just dropped the E, but there's so many other abbreviations for M that they couldn't just do anything else. So M-O-L is really what it is. And basically, it's an SI unit of measurement um, to measure the amount of a substance. Now, here's where it gets a little bit tricky because people think that, oh, it's going to be a specific amount of that substance all the time. And really, it's not. So basically, this is based on carbon-12 isotopes and how many molecules there are in the ratio. So it pretty much they took 12 grams of pure carbon-12 and they established a number of representative particles that they have in there. And we call that Avogadro's number. And that number is super important and you need to write it on your periodic table because we're going to use it forever. Um, it's 0 0.6. 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power. Oops. And then it doesn't let me do it when I want to. 10 to the 23rd power. And so basically what this is, is this is a conversion factor that we're going to be able to use to go from a mole of a substance to atoms, particles, formula units, um, anything like that. And so when we see that, we can use this number right here to make those conversions. Now, something I do want you to know before we start, um, a mole can be a couple things. And people get this kind of, it can be formula units, we start talking about this representative particles it can also be um, ions atoms molecules these are all um, able to be used for formula units. Oh. Sorry about that. I don't know why I couldn't spell. So let's go on to the conversion. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go through a couple of these problems and then I'm going to allow some of you just to go on and work and then I'll do some more of these problems or the rest of them in a separate video so that those of you that want to do all of them you can but I know some of you don't want to do all of them so for time's sake we're just going to go through a couple and then we're going to go through and do this so when we're converting from um, our molecules which carbon dioxide is a covalent bond so it's a molecule um, to moles all we're going to need to do is we are going to, and I like using these boxes, if you want to use this, you can use the same thing. What we're going to do is we have to put okay. AV's number down here because we have to cancel these molecules out. And so this AV's number is going to be your 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And this will be molecules. So we can cancel those labels out. And it's going to be equal to one mole. Now, hint for this. When you're putting this into your calculator, please remember if you do not use parentheses, it is not going to work. So when you put this in, you should get 2.0 times 10 to the negative 9. And we have to label this. So it's going to be moles of CO2. So again, we'll do the same thing down here make this screen just a little bit smaller. We are going to, we're using formula units of sodium nitrate, formula units mainly because sodium nitrate is a salt, so it's an ionic compound, that's why we're using formula units. I'm not going to be a stickler if you put the wrong label for this, 
we have to use Avogadro's number right here. So it's 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And we're going to use formula units. Sorry, my handwriting's awful. Please, with formula units, you are not going to abbreviate um, with F and U. I think you guys can figure that one out why. Again, we put parentheses in because we are going this way. We have now canceled out our formula units label. We are going to take the top, multiply it, divide it by the bottom. When we do that, we get 5.88 times 10 to the negative 6th. And this would be moles of our sodium nitrate, NaNO3. And so that's basically how we're going to convert using um, a f starting with formula units and going to moles of a substance. So this is kind of the same thing. Part A of 2 is doing the same thing. We're just using atoms. You're going to the moles. The same concept. But let's do B. Because B is actually, actually asking us to go from our moles and then go to molecules of a substance. So we're kind of doing this in a little bit of reverse. So we want to start with our moles. So 3.56 times 10 to the negative 2 moles of sulfuric acid sulfuric acid. Yes, you have to remember how to name things. And we're going to put one mole on the bottom. And we want to put AV's number on top because one mole is going to be equal to that. And that's 2 times 23rd. Um, and we want to put molecules of hydrochloric acid. Again, we multiply the top, divide it by the bottom, and when you do that, you are going to get 2.143 times 10 to the 22nd. And again, we have to put a label with it, so it's going to be molecules of hydrochloric or sulfuric acid, sorry. Okay, so again, that's when you start with your moles and you're going to molecules. So let's do another one of those. C is going for molecules and the moles. Let's do D. So again, D, we have our moles and we're going to atoms. And so we want to start with our 5.60 moles of our single atom of calcium. You put one mole on the bottom for calcium, crossing this off. And we're going to put Avogadro's number right here because that's our conversion factor that we have to go to atoms. We can't do it any other way. So it's 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of Ca. And it's an atom because it's just a lone element by itself. Again, we multiply the top, divide it by the bottom, and you get 3.37 times 10 to the 24th atoms of Ca. And so basically that's how we're going to do the problems for this section. Um, not really hard. Again, we're using moles, which is standard substance. And so that's basically based on the molar mass of that specific compound atom formula units. Um, there will be a second video that's going to show the rest of the problems. If you would like to go through that, you sure can.